Hello? Where you been, kid? I've been trying to reach you for 10 minutes. Well, I just got in. Can't get enough, huh? What's up? Nadine, you know that black evening dress you have, the one you wore to the police benefit? Sure, it's upstairs in my closet. Still got the mayor's fingerprints all over it. Well, is it still there? Well, I haven't checked it in the last few hours, if that's what you mean. Harry, what's this all about? Nadine, a woman died tonight at the clinic, and she had no ID, and we couldn't trace your prints. Harry, skip the police science. Let's get to the point. Nadine, the dead woman was wearing an identical dress. Harry, I designed that dress myself. It's a one of a kind. I think she's tied up with Johnson. But how can you be sure? Well, I'm not, but Rochelle's performing an autopsy on her right now. Look, there's something strange going on around here, and Johnson is right in the middle of it. Now, as soon as the doc's finished, I'm coming over. All right, in the meantime, Jeremy and I are going to do a little investigating on our own. Nadine, I'd feel a lot better if you guys were out of there. I can take care of myself. Nadine, I... Where's Johnson? Nadine, things are getting even weirder. I mean, I'm seeing people leave that never showed up. What? Two hours ago, I saw Johnson leave with a babe I never saw come in. Did she look at all like Mr. Johnson? They could have been the Bobsy twins. What was she wearing? Something black and slinky in all the right places. All right, now's our chance to search this place. If we can find something on Johnson, Harry will probably kiss you personally. It's okay. I'll settle for a handshake, but what are we looking for anyway? I don't know, but we'll know when we find it. Come on, let's start the stuff. No. 